Today we're going to be showcasing the Ancient Box deck straight out of uh, Temporal Forces, the newest set that came out just this past month. We're going to be uh, seeing how strong this Roaring Moon really is and actually it's using both what we're going to call Baby Roaring Moon and Roaring Moon EX, what a lot of us have come to know and love. But this is the star of the show right here. This version of Roaring Moon, a single prize attacker, still an ancient Pokemon, 140 HP, has two attacks. First one is Vengeance Fletching for two Darkness Energy. It does a base 70 damage, but it scales up 10 more damage for each ancient disc, uh, card in your discard pile. So of course this ramps up really quick. Cards that are gonna help us get there are Flutter Main. We're rocking three copies of this. We've got two of the Rory Moon EX, four of the Rory Moon smaller one, two this EX, of course, as we usually remember, we have the Frenzy Gouging Attack, which for two Darkness Energy and one Colorless, instant knockout any opponent's Pokemon that they have, dealing 200 damage to itself as well. Not a problem. It's also got the second attack for the same cost, Calamity Storm, 100 damage base, but if you have a Stadium in play, it actually does 120 more. So this is actually good with the heavier Pokemon, more HP Pokemon. If not, you can always just go with the single prizer. Coridon is also new to temporal forces another 140 hp pokemon ancient the main attack you're going to be using is primordial beatdown for one fighting energy on a colorless which is 30 base times the number of ancient pokemon in your, in your bench in play basically so it can be, go anywhere from 30 to about 180 damage to your opponent not bad at all we are using raiding greninja with its concealed cards very reliable ability who wouldn't Ancient Drum is a good Ace spec. Ace specs are now a thing in the TCG. This is an ancient item card. The big deal for this one here is that you get to draw a card for each ancient Pokemon in play. You don't want to use it when there's one or two uh, ancient Pokemon there, but really you just want to do it when there's three, four, five as much as possible. Get some new cards in your hand. We, what are some of the items that we have? So of course, this is an ancient deck. We're using Earthen Vessel to get our energy out of the deck. We've got Explorer's Guidance, which is actually also new to Temporal Forces. You get to look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. The rest go to your discard pile. You might think that's a terrible effect, right? Wrong, not for this deck because again, you're trying to actually get as many ancient Pokemon into your discard as quick as possible so you can deal more damage every single time. Sada's Vitality is another supporter of choice. This is more of your draw engine. Once you have energy in the discard, you get to accelerate them from there to your two of your ancient Pokemon uh, per turn and as they use it. And also you draw three cards. So you got energy acceleration as well as draw power in one card. And finally, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule to add some more HP to your ancient Pokemon, also adding to that total in the discard pile. So you'll notice it's very easy to get to 200 plus damage very quickly. Should you ever need to scoop up some of your hurt Pokemon, we've got Penny, just one copy. You put that basic Pokemon and all cards attached back to your hand just to save any prize card situations. The ball search engine cards are a great ball. Look at the top seven and you get any Pokemon you find there. Nest ball to add to your bench, any basics. You got two copies of Ultra Ball. You won't be needing this too much. However, this is actually another good way to throw Pokemon or ancient cards from your hand to the discard pile. We've got Poke Gear to help us search out our supporters and Pal Pad to get those back from the discard into your deck. Very useful. The main other cards you want to go over here are Dark Patch. You get to add, attach a basic Dark Energy from your discard to one of your bench Dark. Very important, it has to be on your bench, not your active. That's the only downside. And Counter Catcher. If you ever fall behind on prize cards, you get to switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. That's about it. We're going to go ahead and check out this deck. Of course, we have six Dark Energy and three Fighting Energy. So let's go ahead and test this deck out. So our opponent will be going first. In my opinion, this deck wants to go second anyway because it's quite easy to get a first turn attack off. Flutter main, not a bad Pokemon to start with. At least it's Midnight Fluttering nerfs uh, Pokemon's abilities in your opponent's active spot. So that will help us out. But ideally, we want to start swinging either with Roaring Moon or even with uh, Coridon. So we've got a Cleffa in the active spot. I'm going to call it and think this is a Charizard deck because Clef a lot of... Charizard decks are now using Cleffa, thanks to Tord Reklev winning the European International Championship a few weeks ago. Very good deck. 
we're going to be uh, trying that out at some point soon. So our opponent is going first. It is their turn. However, they decided to do nothing. I wonder why. We're going to do our thing here. And firstly, let's get some energy into the discard. Okay, we got some into our hands. We can nest ball for something, anything. So given that they only have a Cleffa, I think we could probably try to go for the Donk right away. Let's see. We're actually not going to be able to, but never hurts to try. Uh, we don't have any supporters ourselves. Actually, we do in the form of Penny, but we have no way of accelerating energy. Let's see. If they do nothing next turn, then it is going to be bad for them. You know what? Let us try to get a Greninja on board. Why not? Get rid of Super Rod, get rid of Energy, Ninja. It is our draw engine as well, of course, so why not use it? We've got Sado's Vitality. That is actually perfect now that I think about it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you play the game. This is why you accelerate and do all this shenanigans. We've drawn many cards. We're going to retreat, we're going to put Coridon in the active, and we're going to Primordial Beatdown for 60 damage. Yes, this kind of showed you what the deck can do, but we were not expecting a Donk. Uh, not really sure why the opponent didn't play anything else. Maybe they're practicing, maybe they got the wrong deck, I don't know. But this is not target practice, this is the active ranked ladder, at least where we are. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a Charizard deck because they're playing that Pidgey. So in that last game, we got to see how the deck can definitely draw pretty well. Um, but let's see what we could do in this turn. Who do we want to start with now? You know what? Let's do Flood and Rain again. Why not? Worst case, we let it get knocked out. And then and this appears to be a mirror match. We're also going against HM Box. Very nice. So at least in, in this one, we may be able to see the full potential of the deck on both sides so it's not going to just be through me i don't have to win to show you everything i can lose and you get to see the how the deck is supposed to work in full display it's not just about draw power obviously but the fact that you can have so much uh firepower with just single prizes this is something that really makes this deck special um and it's pretty top tier it's not s tier but it's very it, it's pretty much up there right now to be honest okay I think we want to, this is, a, this is the perfect combination of cards. We want to get Greninja out. Okay. Let's get Greninja out to help us draw some cards. I didn't check my prize cards or whatever. And we are going to Earthen Vessel. Get rid of one Ultra Ball. Right. We'll get one of each. Don't really have too many ways to get cards rid of. I don't know if I should play Pokestop or not because I could help them as well. Actually, if we discard an energy with Pokestop, that can actually help us use Sada's. So we might want to. But first, let's go ahead and Concealed. Get rid of the dark. Not bad. We can accelerate one. We want to accelerate two, ideally. Let's poke stop. Why not? That is perfect. We are going to now Sada's, like we mentioned. Boom. Boom. We can attach to the Roaring Moon. That's going to be our attacker right now. We can do it right away. I'm manually attaching. I am going to... Oh, we got another Nest Ball. Let's Nest Ball. 
for a second moon. Do we have a Coridon on hand? I don't think so. Do we need one? Maybe not right away. And I think we can hold the hand. We don't have to do too, too much. Let's retreat. We're doing 90 right now. We can do up to 110, but I don't think we need to right now. Let's go ahead and swing. And I really hope our opponent has at least one other Pokemon to bench because it would really stink if they did not. Um, that'll be another short game. We don't want that, but if it happens, it happens, guys. Can't control what our opponents do, right? But um, we do get to see more or less what the deck is supposed to do. I have an Explorer's Guidance on hand, so I'm more than likely going to use this next. Unless we get a Sada's Vitality, which we don't have to use Sada's this turn. Um, so I'll be able to ramp up some damage right now. I would imagine they have an energy to attach to this Coridon or the Retreat. I don't know. And Artisan is actually good for both of us. In our version of the deck, we're running one copy as well as one copy of the Pokestop. So... Never hurts to utilize. And they've got Slitherwing. It's another ancient Pokemon. You can definitely use that. Pretty good against the Arceus matchup since it is uh, weak to fighting. Here's the manual attached. Now do you attack or do you retreat? Because you're only dealing 90 damage right now. You go with the beatdown. Okay. We've got Coridon. How many energy do we have in the discard? We would like to get another Sada's, but I don't have a... We don't have a... Another one. We could always... Use Greninja. YOLO, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Now we'll have to Explorer's Guidance. We got another one. Right now we're still dealing 90. Let's use the Guidance. We kind of need Sawdust for next turn. We can do without all that. That's actually an easy... Mm, yeah, it is. That's an easy, perfect one. And I'll show you what we're going to do right now. So we got them two. Okay. We're dealing 100 right now. I'm going to bench this other Roaring Moon. That's a smart thing to do. Okay. I'm going to Ultra Ball. Fluttermane. We could get rid of the Coridon, I think. Or the Guidance. Let's get rid of Guidance. And we can add Big Rory Moon. Why not? Do we need it in this matchup? No. I think we want to go safe and just go with the Baby Coridon. So we give up less prizes. Remember, we are going up against a single prize deck. We already used the supporter this turn, but we can use it next turn. And right now, we're going to be able to knock out this Coridon. Now, we can definitely expect retaliation next turn because we already have 90 damage ourselves. What we're needing to do is have an additional energy to manually attach. Otherwise, it may not go so well for us. And they choose to go with Slitherwing. They're using Sada's as they should. They only have one other energy in the discard. They've got Greninja. Yeah, this is pretty much a mirror match. They know what they're doing. He's going to knock us out. I think for this turn, I'm going to go in with Coridon. We definitely need an energy to manually attach with. Otherwise, it's going to look very bad. But I think we will. Burning Turbulence knocks us out. Okay. So this is the good and bad thing about a single prize deck. You only give up one every time someone gets knocked out, but 
the games sometimes are a bit longer, which may or may not be a good thing. Usually not. You want to finish quicker rather than later. So I think we've got everything we need here. We could Greninja. I'm not going to right now. Let's just use Sada. Safe route. Attach here. Attach here. I would like to get a dark patch at some point. Pal pad. Are we going to want to pal pad anything? The Sadas? I think so. Manually attach. How many do we have in the discard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 15. We're preparing for the next turn, the next attackers. We always have to. So, um, I think we should Earthen Vessel. Get rid of Coridon. Get our energy out. Hold the hand. We may want to... Okay, and they conceded. I guess they prize mapped already. They're like, I don't have enough energy or firepower or something. But you guys were able to see more or less how the deck works. It was Ancient Box versus Ancient Box. One option is to include Slitherwing. If you want to, you can always do the Roaring Moon EX. You can take it out. You can include as many copies as you want of Roaring Moon, the baby one. I run four. I suggest that. If you ever wanted to, you can take out Coridon and the Fluttermane and just go ahead and add Dunsparce and the Dunsparce also from Temporal Forces. I might do a deck video on that version of it because it runs pretty similarly, but uh, it's, it's a cool version. A lot more. It has the same amount of draw power almost, but it might be a little more consistent. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you do, leave a like on the way out. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, Share this with your friends. We're definitely going to be covering a lot more decks. Hope you guys stay tuned and uh, have a good one.